Aloha and welcome to the Embodied Healing Self Podcast with your host, Jen Mons. Each week, join me for soul-inspired, conscious conversations around embodied healing and awakening to your soul's purpose. Thank you for listening in. Aloha and welcome back. This week, I'm super excited to dive into the conversation around superfoods and how superfoods are a superconductor to the divine and our spiritual growth, our intuition, our energy field, the reality that we live in, and more. So it's really a gateway to inviting you to live in alignment with more vitality, thriving, more abundance, being open to receiving, and just more in a more expansive life experience. So I was a health coach for nine years, a holistic health coach, and also have training from the International School of Detoxification in detoxifying the body. And when I was health coaching, I specialized in food sensitivities, autoimmunity, and really helping people to understand intuitive nourishment. So I'm really excited to talk about this today. You may remember my episode 63 on how our energetic body affects our ability to nourish and to assimilate the nutrients that we consume through food. So I'm going to go a little bit deeper today and just give you some information that I hope that can be helpful for you as you are diving into your relationship with food and nourishment and nutrition and your energy body and energy management and everything that goes together in our wholeness. So I'm going to start with a disclaimer that I'm not a dietitian or a nutritionist. I am a certified holistic health coach and I've been trained in functional medicine and also detoxification and I'm an intuitive, I'm an energy worker, so I'm really just bringing this information to you from the perspective of how the food that we eat affects our energetic signature, our imprinting, our patterns, and how it raises our vibration and helps us to open up more to our intuition and really actually living in that higher vibration and opening up the upper chakras. So I have talked before about the energy of food and if everything is energy then food has energy as well and kind of in a nutshell what I want to invite you to consider is one of the things that to create a visual like if you think of the frequency of food on a scale generally the things that grow higher like fruits they tend to have a little bit more of a higher vibration and vegetables of course and then when you get down into root vegetables They're very grounding, and if you have processed foods, that's basically negative, zero nutritional value, very low frequency, and of course, dead animal protein is also a low frequency of food. Now, I get that we all need healthy fats and proteins and complex carbohydrates to nourish our physical bodies. I'm talking today more about the energy of the food that we consume and how that is really very a visual in our energetic pattern and how it opens us up to more vitality and sustainability in not only our physical body but our energy body as well. And I want to invite you just to consider for a moment when you look at what you eat throughout the day, are you eating to thrive? To really thrive like a plant that's growing in the ground, or are you eating to survive? And what does that look like for you? What does that feel like when you're eating to survive? Like how do you eat differently than when you're really thriving and you're you're feeling vitality and you're energized and you're nourished and you're well hydrated and you're consuming a lot of organic plant foods? like a plant that thrives and grows from the ground versus eating for survival where we're probably burning a lot of energy and we need a we need to consume more right the two energies of consuming and creation so consuming would be more of a survival type energetic pattern whereas creation is more in thriving and it's not to say that one is better than the other or right or wrong but it's really just to help you increase awareness of 
of your eating patterns and just noticing like, how am I choosing to eat based on how I feel? Like if we're overwhelmed and stressed out and super busy all the time, we're probably in survival. We probably need a lot, a lot, a lot more protein and a lot more healthy fats. We need to consume more. We need to eat more. If we're really living in a place of like flow and nourishment and hydration and thriving, then we probably might not need to eat or consume as much or the same types of food. So also just noticing like where you are in your life and your lifestyle and what you need to fit where you are. So I love superfoods. And if if you don't know what a, a superfood is, if this is, you know, kind of a new concept to you, superfoods are foods that have a higher vibration They help to improve your health. They can reduce all of the symptoms that you might be feeling in your body that are making you uncomfortable. They reduce inflammation. They can reduce cravings and bloating. They can help you sleep better. Reducing foods that cause inflammation in your diet and eating more plant-based organic foods is going to help you detox physically. And then superfoods are a food that we can bring into our diet to really help give us like that extra boost. So I want to just share with you some superfoods and how they help us to deepen our connection with our intuition and why superfoods are important and invite you to understand that the food that we eat doesn't just serve our physical body, but because we are energy beings and because food is energy, it actually affects our energy fields and affects our vitality and our intuition and our empathy and our connection to everything around us. So a couple of foods that I really, really love and some superfoods that you've probably heard of before. Maca is one that helps to reduce stress. It also helps to stimulate the pituitary gland, which helps to open up our intuition. It's an adaptogen and it can also help with hormonal balance in the body. And so this can be found in a powder form that you just put in your smoothie or maybe your morning coffee or something like that. Some other superfoods that I love, Kamu Kamu, which again, usually comes in a powder form. These are things you can just find. They might be added into some type of protein powder. You can mix them in your smoothie, but very high in vitamin C. Goji berries are another great superfood. At our house, we love to put on acai bowls. If you can find them fresh, that's amazing. They're often a lot easier to find dried. And again, just another superfood that helps to increase and improve immune function. Acai is another superfood, same thing, both very high in vitamin C. Coconut water, coconut oil, anything really extracted from coconut is also considered a superfood. Coconut water is very hydrating coconut oil. You can get the MCT, the XCT, or the coconut oil is known to reduce bacteria. It's known to boost the immune system. And cacao is another one. Cacao is chocolate in its purest form without the sugar. The sugar, of course, added to any chocolate will lower the vibration of the properties within the cacao that are really good for us. Dark leafy greens, because of their ability to support the liver to help the body to detox, are also really beneficial for increasing our vital organ efficiency and how we how it affects the metabolism, for example, the liver, how the liver is really our mother organ for detoxification and cleansing, which of course the beets support this, and also for immunity support. So I really love dark leafy greens for that. Some other foods that I really love, quinoa. Quinoa is, some people call it a grain, some people call it a seed. It's really high in protein, really easy to digest, especially for those on a no or low animal protein diet. We're always looking for ways to get more protein into our diet. And so nuts and seeds, of course, are a wonderful way to do this. A couple of my favorite nuts, cashews, because they have tryptophan, Brazil nuts, because they have selenium, all things that help us to relax a little bit more, which is always nice, especially if you're a really high energy person. Of course, avocados would be at the top of my list for healthy fats, easy to digest. And 
really just understanding that when we eat, we need a combination of all of these. And really finding foods that not only provide healthy fats, but are easier to digest so that our body can fully assimilate and process the nutrients that we're receiving so that we can really create vitality and balance in our body. But also inviting in foods that reduce inflammation, such as onions and garlic and turmeric and cinnamon and some spices and foods that help to decrease inflammation. Removing the foods from our diet that are known to cause inflammation for many of us, those types of foods would be gluten, dairy, soy, corn, eggs, even nuts, because nuts have a enzyme inhibitor that in the shell that can make them hard to digest. Almonds, for example, can be hard to digest because they have a protective coating or shell that makes them harder to digest. And anything that we don't digest, of course, becomes inflammatory in the body because the body then has to find something to do with it. So allowing yourself to find the balance between eating healthy foods that serve you that are also easily digestible. And so for easier digestion, this can look like sprouted nuts or raw or soaked that can make them easier to digest. And oftentimes when foods are creating inflammation in the body, such as gluten or dairy, it's usually the protein within the gluten or the dairy that we might become sensitive to. So you're probably familiar with Well, gluten is the protein in wheat and casein is the protein in dairy. And how this shows up is it shows up differently for all of us. And so this is the importance of intuitive nourishment is really allowing yourself to connect with your body and what your body needs and understanding that those needs will change. They will change with your age. They will change with your lifestyle. They will change with your immune system, with your stress levels. And so the way that it can show up if we're not totally in alignment with eating intuitively and what is aligned with our body is we can have a lot of mucus, we can have allergies, we can have heartburn, maybe we don't sleep well, maybe we have skin rashes, maybe we have acne, maybe we get sick all the time, maybe we're just really mucusy. Maybe we have bloated stomachs. Maybe we have arthritis and discomfort in the physical body. Maybe we have really low energy. Maybe we have mood swings. Maybe you notice that after you eat a sandwich for lunch, you're ready to take a nap. And maybe it has something to do with the combination of what you're eating. So sometimes it's not just the bread or the gluten alone, but when you put the bread or the the gluten in the bread with the cheese, like it's a double whammy and you get super tired. Or maybe the chocolate with the peanut butter affects you more than the chocolate by itself or the peanut butter by itself. So really understanding food at a, at a deeper level and allowing yourself to explore your relationship with your own body wisdom, your own intuition, your lifestyle, your relationship with food. Like what are the emotions, the energy, the patterns that show up when you're eating a certain way and allowing yourself, giving yourself permission to explore like foods that can really, really help deepen your intuition and, you know, help raise your vibration. Because when we eat superfoods, that is what's really happening because the cells have their own intelligence And so the cells are either absorbing the nutrients and the energy from foods or they're not. And there's not a whole lot of nutrition coming from processed foods. So getting super clear on allowing your body to receive nutrition on a cellular level. Another way that I love to do this is through juicing. So although I personally am not a big fan of fasting or doing a a juice fast I love to use juicing medicinally and the reason I love juicing so much is because it's a source of live active enzymes if you have a juicer that are essential for catalyzing that metabolic reaction in your body so once you cook vegetables 
you're destroying those live enzymes. It also helps the body to detox on a cellular level because we're consuming them in their raw living form, very easily digestible when it's fresh pressed juice. It doesn't have the fiber in it, so it's able to be easily absorbed and utilized in the body. So really just understanding also that the way that we prepare our food helps how we're absorbing the nutrients of the food and allow yourself to just explore some of some superfoods and notice, you know, how you feel when you use them. They're are a ton of mushroom powders out there. I really love mushrooms. They're another fantastic food, a very source of intelligent food that we can get very easily through either raw mushrooms or even through powders. Adding, you know, a scoop of shaga or maitake or lion's mane or cordyceps mushroom powder or all of the above to your coffee can give it that grounding sense because. A very intelligent food source, but also energetically, as coffee can be known to, you know, increase the heart rate and kind of elevate our mood with caffeine, the mushroom powder can help to ground it. Like you've heard of, you know, people adding MCT oil and XCT oil to really balance the metabolizing of the caffeine in the body and so those things can help so I just wanted to provide you some information today to invite you to be curious about maybe some superfoods that you want to add in of course any of the marine foods that are out there can also help any types of seaweeds or chlorella also very wonderful to add into your diet and maybe you just explore a little bit maybe you try one and you use up the bag of Kamu Kamu powder in your smoothies for this month and you try something new next month and start to just notice, you know, how do I feel differently? Am I notice anything differently in my energy levels? And allowing yourself to just really dive into the possibility that you may be eating healthy already, And if you just add in a couple of superfoods, it's going to raise your vibration energetically because the superfoods have a higher frequency. It's going to raise your vibration. It's going, when it raises your vibration, you are more connected to your intuition. You are living in that energy, that higher frequency of health, love, Abundance, right? All of these things have a frequency. Peace, freedom. On a frequency scale of emotions, you start to increase your frequency to match. More positive emotions is another benefit that can happen. When we're eating really dead food that doesn't nourish us, it can lower our mood into those lower frequency emotions, such as fear, scarcity, And other negative emotions that can show up. So I just wanted to hop on here and just kind of share with you as we were talking about it in our North Star Collective because we're going to be doing a full body detox together in March. You're invited to check it out on my website under Courses Intuitive Nourishment. These programs are created seasonally to support you ayurvedically and also seasonally to eat in season for the different cycles throughout the year. So we're going to be doing this together and it inspired me to share with you the value of eating well not only for your physical health but also for your spiritual growth and to deepen your connection with your intuition which was really my life journey. If you know about my story. It started with a health crisis 15 years ago in 2006, which invited me to lean into integrative wellness, into health coaching. And as I did that, and I really began to raise the vibration that I was living in, everything started to shift from negative emotions to positive emotions, to physical vibrance and vitality, to deepening and awakening to my connection with my intuition and empathy and clairvoyance and clairaudience and all of that. 
And it really just allowed me to create more space for more expansion and growth. And it's just one of those gateways that's available to all of us if we allow ourselves to be supported and connected in that process. So really inviting you to consider that eating well is not just about the physical body, but it supports your energetic body, your emotional well-being, your mental well-being, your relationships. Because if you feel really good, then you're thriving, you're feeling your life in vitality, in abundance, in trust, in love, in there's not scarcity or starvation or overeating because everything is in a healthier relationship and balance of flow. I'd love to hear what you think about this and if you have superfoods that support you, that you've really had a great experience with, please let me know. I love to hear what works for people. I'd love to share it with people. And if you have resources or a book, there are a ton of really great books out there around intuitive nourishment. If you're looking for a program to support you in intuitive nourishment, we have that on genmons.com forward slash work with me courses. You can check out the intuitive nourishment. Join us for a season or for the whole year. We'll be doing it together in March, which is the perfect time to do a spring cleanse detox experience. I'd love to see you in there. Send us a request on the Embodied Healing Empowered Living Community Facebook page and join along. Have a fantastic day. Aloha. The content of this podcast is to educate, inspire, and inform you of pathways to an embodied healing self. It is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Always seek the advice from your medical doctor, therapist, registered dietitian, or nutritionist for any questions you may have regarding your diagnosis or condition. Hello, friends, and thank you so much for joining me today and being a part of this community. I know there are many other podcasts that you could be tuning into, and I am deeply honored that you chose to listen in and be present with me today. I love and cherish and appreciate you, and I want to invite you to join our tribe and Facebook group under genmons.com forward slash connect. I would also love to gift you your guide to discovering and overcoming the self-limiting beliefs standing in the way of you living in optimal health, more energy, fulfillment, and self-confidence to create an embodied, healthy, whole you. You can find this at genmons.com forward slash tribe. I also have one small request to help spread the love. In order for this podcast to show up in the feed of social media platforms of other like-minded people, we need reviews. So please head on over to genmons.com slash podcast to leave a review. You will also find other inspiring episodes on that page. So I personally read these reviews weekly and would love to give you a shout out and share your kind words with our listeners. You can find me on Instagram and Facebook as Jen Mons or The Holistic Coach with the W Holistic and Jen Mons, J-E-N-M-O-N-S dot com. Thank you so much and have an amazing day. Aloha.